Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about a really cool topic and that is social memory. So let's get an introduction together so we're all on the same page. Now social memory is the ability of an organism to recognize and remember other individuals. And organisms that are really good at this can actually attach information to those individuals like names in terms of humans, dates, so maybe someone's birthday, or even whether they like cream and sugar in their coffee. And this ability of having a good social memory, organisms use to develop relationships between individuals, they use them to navigate social situations, and even to avoid danger. Now you might have guessed, but humans are really good at having this social memory. Previous research has shown that other animals can remember individuals, but we don't know quite how much or for how long. So one group of animals that we can study to kind of answer these questions are chimps and bonobos, which are our closest living relatives. They form complex social circles, they form friendships, they form communities in the wild and in zoos. So researchers wanted to know which features of social memory do we as humans share with these great apes, which are our closest living relatives? So let's talk about what the researchers did. Let's get some methods together. Well, they did research on 26 chimps and bonobos that were located at, at three different sites. These were zoos or sanctuaries. And for each chimp or bonobo, they showed them a pair of images. And the pair consisted of a former group mate, so an individual that used to live with the test individual, but they hadn't seen for a while. And the other image was a stranger, so an individual that they had never met before. The researchers used an eye tracker to figure out which image the ape was looking at, whether it was the group mate or the stranger. And then the researchers calculated what they call a looking score. This is basically the time they spent looking at the former group mate minus the time they spent looking at the stranger. And that means if you have a positive looking score, they were looking at their group mate for longer. And if you have a negative looking score, they were looking at the stranger for longer. The researchers also asked trainers who worked with these apes what kind of positive and negative interactions the individuals had with each other and what the group dynamics were like when the group mates were actually together. So what did they find? Well, the main finding is that apes spent 14% more time looking at group mates than they did at strangers, which means that we had very positive looking scores. The researchers also found with previous group mates that looking time increased if the individuals had had positive interactions in the past. They also found that time apart didn't matter. So there was one ape that recognized a former group mate 26 years after they had been separated. Also for this study, they found that apes that came from the sanctuary where one of the sites was located actually looked for longer at the images. And this is likely because these apes had done similar experiments before. So what does this all mean? Let's get a discussion going. So the main thing is that these apes are good at remembering and they attach information to those memories. And this could be a way for those apes to strengthen the social interactions that they have in their communities and their friendships. What this means for us, we know that human and apes share this long-term social memory trait. Now that means that this trait of social memory was likely present in our evolutionary timeline approximately six to nine million years ago in our last common ancestor or LCA between us and chimpanzees and bonobos. And one thing that this social memory might have helped early humans do is to create these communities and communication patterns to form relationships and friendships, which would have been really important as the human race kind of spread out um, during our evolutionary history. So let's think about the big picture. Let's get a conclusion. We know that apes share this social memory trait with us, but we are limited in the amount of information that we can learn from them because all of our great apes are endangered. And they're endangered because of mainly poaching 
and because of deforestation. So what can you do? Well, some of the biggest things that you can do in terms of preventing deforestation is think about using sustainable wood products. So those are products where the forests are actually sustainable and the wood has been certified as sustainable. You can also avoid products in your daily life that rely on deforestation to grow or be produced. Things like palm oil. So think about what you can do to help in those ways. Hope you learned something today. Have a good one.